G'day. Uh, just got a new bit of kit for the truck and I just thought I'd do a quick little look at it this morning and do a bit of a review and unboxing. It's the smoking hot rocket stove uh, from Tent World. Now the reason I've uh, graduated from this, I did have an Auspig previously. The reason I've changed to this is that it's much much smaller. It packs down a lot smaller. It's about 30 centimeters odd across and about 60, 70 high. So uh, it packs down to a very small square, which is really great. As I've only got the Prado, it's, uh, there's not a lot of space available. So there's the bits there, there's the uh, front gate. There's the uh, diffusion tray there. And as you'll see here, it, it, it packs down to a really, really tiny, tiny amount of space, which was a big thing for me. Uh, those are the parts for the grill on the top and also for the legs. Won't be using the grill attachment on top, but I will need the legs. So there's the leg attachments there. Hello Mr. Magpie, what's going on buddy? So there's the attachments for the legs. And as you'll see here, the chimney stacks inside of the main piece, which is great. Really, really space saving thing this is. Now this is all steel. It's not as thick as well like an Auspig or something is, but still very durable nevertheless. The whole package itself only weighs under under 10 kilos, which is awesome. And it all fits nice and snugly in that bag there, which is good. All right, let's take a look at uh, put them together now. So the whole thing pieces together quite easily, it's just sliding into both of the legs there. And sliding in the main leg there. One slight gripe I can see already is that the legs do move around a little bit, which is slightly annoying, but I'll deal with it, I guess. All right then. So let's get everything in place here. Just a little ashtray there that keeps all the ash in. And as I said, we won't be using the top grill section as yet. And the little chimney part there. Slides into place there really easy. Basically, you just feed any of the wood and everything down into that little section there. And it all 
all sits on top of there. So that makes sure that the fire's got breathing room underneath it. So you can see already that that chimney's doing its job, which is good. All the air's wanting to go out of there and not come out of the top. And it's already lighting up pretty well. So we'll just do a bit of a quick timer here and see how long it takes. To switch off for a moment now and uh, we'll come back in a minute or two and see where we're at all right well we're at two minutes in now and you'll see the fire's already cranking and we've only got a little bit of kindling in there so it's already generating quite a bit of heat and the steel is keeping the heat quite well chimney's very warm but that is to be expected I think it's definitely a winner. It's very, very warm. Uh, it's cranking out quite a bit of heat. I imagine when I stack the whole thing right up to the top with wood, it's gonna be really cranking out some heat. We're only just here today just to kind of get it going and just have a quick little look at it. So um, we won't get it completely stacked up with wood, but we just wanted to have a quick look today and see what we can see and see how it performs. Um, I think this drip tray here is definitely handy, which is good. And also the, uh, the breathing tray here which which allows all the wood to breathe and the air to get in underneath it is going to come in really handy once it's full, filled up with wood all the way up to the top here it's going to come in very very handy to have that air coming underneath it there so i think it's definitely winter i'm, I'm definitely glad i've changed around from the Pig. Um, definitely saved some space which was the number one thing it's only about a hundred and eighty odd dollars i think from tent world as well so i'm not sponsored by tent world or anything i just uh, happen to get a lot of stuff from there as a lot of people would do i'm sure so anyway um i hope you've enjoyed taking a, a quick look at the uh, smoking hot rocket stove and um thanks for watching we'll see you again very soon